Hi, this is Elizabeth Mayer. I am applying for the MAT program at the University of Arts, and this is my 10 minute lesson. And this is Adam. He is in fourth grade, and I will be teaching him today. Let's do dreidel, dreidel. And concentrate on taking a big breath and making sure you get all the notes out. Like swearing or tongue in? Tongue in. Let's do, actually, no, let's start, um, let's do the whole thing slurred and then do the whole thing tongued. Yeah? Okay. Alright. Mm. I'll count in. One, two, three. Nice big breaths on all the breath marks and play out so we can get all the notes. Okay. One, two, three. <sighs> the difference between loud and soft. So let's say here, oh, I don't introduce those for a while, but here they are. So we have two dynamics, forte and piano. And forte means to play loud, and piano means to play soft. And then there's PP, and then there's FF, and then FFF, and then FF, 
that. Mm -hmm. Right. But let's just focus on forte and piano right now. So let's play the shoe fly one at piano. And then we'll repeat it and play it forte. That's two lines. Hmm? Two lines. Oh. oh. What are you saying? You're saying you want to play this piano and this forte and not yeah. repeat it? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So remember what piano was? Soft and then forte is loud. Yeah, good job. All right. So let's do Allegro 30, shoe fly. And that's in two. Yeah. Do you know what that means? Um, two beats per measure, and four means that the quarter note gets to beat. Nice job. It's good. All right. So, one, two, one. <laughs> between a tie and a slur because a slur goes um like a slur is changing notes yeah right that's what i meant to say but um it co it connects the two notes slur but it doesn't like connect them like a tie does like it's not like one note held out it's like a bunch right yeah. uh, on shallow i just learned on um, slurring three notes at once oh you did yeah, yeah. that was last lesson that's pretty tricky shell is pretty tricky um, let's see. What's on this page? Did you learn eighth notes yet? No, I know what they are. You know what they are? It's one and two, one, three, and four. Right. And I even know how to count sixteenths. One and two and three <laughs> and four again. Yeah. You're smart. <laughs> Just from playing bells for since second grade. Yeah. Yeah. We've had like a whole bunch of different songs with different techniques and uh, that's good. Um let's try doing this page for next week. Okay. Um my pen's going to go. All these for next week because I know you can just have to practice every day, right? Because you're definitely able to do this because you have a lot of musical training. I just went to Ocean City yesterday, so I couldn't get any practice. Then. That's okay, you practiced all the other days, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, almost. That's still, that's still better than you've been doing, so that's really good. Yeah. All right, let's, let's try playing 33. That's got eighth notes and ties. Let's see. And then coordinates and, and half notes. Yeah. Let's try clapping it first. Okay. Um, you know how eighth notes go, right? Yeah. So can you clap just this measure for me? Ta, ti, ti. Right. All right, cool. So let's try uh, clapping the whole thing. So one, 
Try doing these last four bars with the eighth note and the tie. Alright, so one, two, one, oh, that one, my bad. I got confused. Alright, one, two, ready, go. Rest, rest. No, just one rest. Oh. Yeah. So it goes rest, ta, 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 ta. Right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, one. Let's put the whole thing together, clapping. Okay, one, two, three. Very good. All right, let's do 33 and play. One, oh, sorry. This thing you guys. Can you see it now? Yeah. Let's try it one more time. I'm a little confused with the rest. That's okay. Um, you'll get it this time. All right, one, go, ready. Nice job, you got it. 